Hi, welcome to the first installment of the Uconnect radio demonstrations that we're going to be doing for Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep headquarters. Tonight we are checking out the brand new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara package. This one has the brand new 8.4 4C radio with the navigation system in it. As you can see, I do have the navigation uploaded. Tonight we're going to go through just a couple of the information and buttons on here as well as some of the settings that you can do but more importantly we're going to be checking out the Android Auto feature and how it uh, works on your cell phone and how to get that set up. It's pretty easy and it will be quick but I just wanted to go through the radio so everybody's comfortable with how the radio works before we get into the more complicated Android Auto. First off, you can see it has the navigation system. This is a really cool map and uh, browser. It's less clunky than the old 430N radios that you can remember. Um, and the new versions of the 4C compared to the 3C, you got just a little bit different color scheme. You got the green lines for the highways and everything and the gray lines for the roads. But you can take this screen and you can actually turn it, which is really neat. You can zoom in and zoom out like so which is really cool so that's uh, one of the new features on the radio here is that you can zoom in like that or zoom out like that and then zoom back in as far as you want and the new color scheme of course but also wanted to go through the bottoms you have your home bottom buttons down here so you can change these uh, but first we'll just go through you have your AM FM and Sirius XM radio uh, capabilities on here you just press those buttons very similar to the 3c radios um, and you can take whatever station you're on and just press and hold and it'll make that one of your favorites uh, same thing with AM or FM if you wanted to make that your favorite there you go 104.7 so you can also do a direct tune right there if you want to do 96.9 uh, you can hit go and then it takes you right to 96.9 very cool uh, radio features right there but very similar to the old radio features you also have your media you can do Bluetooth connectivity you can do uh, a phone connected through the aux jack or like a, a, an Apple iPod or something like that you can connect through the aux down here if you notice we have an aux a USB port and then a USB C port I have the USB plugged in for this Android Auto uh, demonstration because we're going to be plugging in our Galaxy S9 Plus to the USB port, which is how you connect it to the Android Auto. You need one of these cables to make that happen. Uh, going through the buttons down here again, you have your climate controls right here. So as you can see, you can do dual climate control up here. And of course, all these are in Celsius. You can change those to Fahrenheit if you want. Um, but you can select where you want that to blow. You have your fan selector. And if you like the more tactile versions, you can do the buttons down here. You can also do the fan down here. And your front rear defroster right there. Your modes you can do down here, which you couldn't do for a while. Um, and then you also have a mute feature. This is your start stop button, your stability control your hazards, your backup sensors, which is new for the JL for 2018, your downhill assist control, and then you can just turn the screen off, turn the screen back on, you just press it, and it comes right back on. So, uh, moving on, you can do your apps. This brings up all your stuff down here. Uh, basically, if you wanted one of these buttons to be one of your buttons down here, you just select it and hold it, and you can drag it right down there and that will become one of your buttons that you can do. So we're not going to really do the phone right now, but now you can see I have the backup cam right there. I can press that on the fly, and it shows up your backup cam, which the new backup cams in the Wranglers are phenomenal. Back to it. Uh, you got an app manager, SOS alert system, so if you get in an accident or something, that can be uh, pressed, and it will alert the local authorities to come get you. Um, you have a Wi-Fi hotspot in here as well. Vehicle user guide now comes on the radios. 
So if you have any questions with the vehicle, you can do that. And then of course your climate, nav, all those. Basically take these and put them down here. Um, and then your controls, you can go into your settings right here. So you got your language, your display, your units. This is where you change it from metric to uh, US if you wanted to do that. So now if we go back to climate, you can see that everything's in Fahrenheit. Pretty cool stuff. And then you get your clock and your camera and all that good stuff. Um, basically go through the, all those. One of the cool things is you notice the background I have is kind of like a racetrack. You can change all those and I believe there's about 16 or 18 different displays you can do. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can set your theme and that's where you go to right there. So you have Jeep. 17 different displays that you can do. If you change that, it'll change the background. So that one's snow. Checkered flag. I think this one's another racetrack. And that one's like a cool eagle. So a lot of cool stuff you can do here. Anyways, we'll get back to the main uh, point of this video which is the Android Auto capabilities. So first thing I want to show you is that we do have the Android Auto app already installed on this phone so uh, you're gonna need that installed on the phone from your Google uh, Play Store which is right there that's a Google Play Store. You're gonna want to download the Android Auto app before you install it before you hook it up to your screen here. So you just put in the USB, hook it up right there, hook it up to your phone, and it will bring, it'll bring up the Android Auto app immediately. So to start, select Android Auto on your car screen. Um, basically you go into apps right there. Android Auto will be one of your buttons on the screen. You just select that and bang, it'll bring up your phone right there. So this is kind of like your home screen. You have your, um, basically your outside temperature, your city, and the current uh, weather situations. It has your most recent calls. If you don't want those up there, you can just swipe right and they go away. And then it brings up your time and everything. Now, the thing I love about this is say your radio did not have navigation, well, your phone's got navigation through Google Maps. You also have, um, I have on my phone a program called Waze, which is a really cool um, GPS system that's offered through Google. I'm sure it's on Apple Car or Apple phones as well. But basically you can do directions with this little button right here, and then you can select which one you wanna do. So you can do Google Maps or you can do Waze. Uh, if you do Waze, you can basically do it a lot like the maps that were on there, and you can uh, set a route and everything, and it shows it just like it would on your phone. So a very cool system, um, and it was really easy. All you do is you plug in your USB into your phone, make sure you have Android Auto on your phone, and press the Android Auto button, comes right up. Now you can do phone calls. The main point of this system is so that you don't have your phone in your hands and you're not looking down at your phone. Um, you know, when you're looking at the radio, you're still looking at the road um, and you can call people pretty easy through here. Uh, so that's your phone. You can go to your voicemail, your contacts, your call history. So it's basically like having the screen of your phone on your radio which is a really neat feature. Um, you can also listen to music on here. So if you have um, a different, well right now, you can select where you want music to play from. So like I have Sirius XM on my phone, I could play it from there. I could go to my favorite channels Jimmy Buffett Radio. I can click on that. And now we got Jimmy Buffett on the radio. So 
very cool so. system. Uh, and that's just scratching the surface of the 8.4 C radio. Um, if you have any questions or want to see more, please comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on our channel. We will be doing more videos like this, and I will be actually doing a video with the Apple phone and Apple CarPlay hooked up to this radio, pretty much the same thing, but just demonstrating those features. So uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to the Apple video on your right, and uh, if you haven't been to our website and just want to check out what Summit Auto is all about, on the bottom, a link to our website. Click those, check us out. And uh, once again, thanks for checking out the video.